Kristen Bell is looking back at a frozen joke. That's absolutely nuts. The Nobody Wants This star recently revisited her 2013 animated hit, revealing that a lyric from the song, for the first time in forever, included an intentional double entendre. Why have a ballroom with no balls? She sang along while watching a clip of the movie in a new interview with Vanity Fair. In the scene her character Anna celebrates, as her lonely castle reopens its doors for the first time in, well, forever. How do we get that joke in there? Bell then asked incredulously. Come on. We slid it under the radar. The ball's line didn't go unnoticed, but Bell said the creative team convinced skeptics that it was totally innocuous. It almost didn't make it in, she said. But then we were like, what are you talking about? That's not what it means. Don't be a perv. Bell went on to explain how she helped shape her messy, aggressively quirky character, whom she wanted to be lovable, but not as put together. It occurred to me that I would do anything they asked me to, but what I should be valiantly striving for is to create a character that I really needed to see when I was 11 years old, which was someone like this character, she recalled. I said, all the Disney princesses stand like this. Their hands are always perfect, their posture's perfect. I want her to be the opposite. I want her to wake up with drool in her mouth, and I want her to snore, and I want her to talk too much and too fast, and wear her heart on her sleeve and trip over things. Bell said she was allowed to improvise certain elements of Anna. Thankfully, this whole experience was really collaborative, she said. Some of those things they wrote in and others they didn't and they let me kind of take the reins. Like the waking up sequence, she was just waking up normally and I said, can I add some snorts? Can you add some drool? Can I make this very realistic and kind of dorky? And they were open to all of it. And I still get such a sense of joy when I see it because I'm very proud. Despite the beloved film's popularity, Bell's children remain unfazed by Frozen. They certainly appreciate it in the fact that they can go to college because of it, but they're not part of the Frozen phenomenon, she said. Kids are meant to make you feel grounded, and they're meant to reject things that their parents are involved in. Even if they secretly liked it a lot, they would never tell me, 